Hi guys, hi, my name is Josh and welcome to my office. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the five best offers to give to your audience without giving a discount. Well, obviously, you know, some of you are going to be doing discounts. We're now in the time of, you know, we're approaching Black Friday, almost Christmas, but some of you may not want to give discounts. Some of you may not want to give discounts because you feel that it may um, affect how your brand is perceived and, and that may affect the sales, but you still want to give something to your customers without damaging the reputation of your brand. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to sh show you the five different ways where you can give great offers without having to give up any profit margin yourself. So number one, number one, you want to do free shipping and free returns. Free shipping and free returns. The reason why you want to do free shipping and free returns is because these days, a lot of brands, a lot of brands are... Are, are asking customers to pay for for return to basically return the product and that's actually brought a lot of controversy when you think of certain retail brands when you think of certain fashion brands that's what they're starting to do they're starting to, starting to charge the customer if they want to return the product especially if the product doesn't fit or anything like that so what you could do is that you can offer free shipping everyone offers free shipping most brands offer free shipping but not all of them offer free returns so that could be an incentive that you could give to your customer in order to make them think you know what it's not going to be much of a risk for me to buy it from this particular brand so that's number one number two is you want to do a free gift with purchase so what you want to do is by giving people a free gift, remember that you don't have to talk about, you don't have to mention what the free gift actually is going to be, right? A lot of customers will just get excited at the fact that, oh my gosh, like I'm going to make an order. I'm going to buy something from this company and I'm going to get something free. I'm going to get, what could it be? Could it be uh, an extra pair of sunglasses? Could it be a makeup set? Could it be a free hat it, it could be it could be anything right the trick with this with this offer in terms of offering a free gift is the fact that it's about the curiosity they're obviously interested in buying the product from you but by saying a free gift but not actually mentioning what the free gift is they're going to basically say all right you know what i don't lose anything let me buy and i'll get something free and they're pretty much up for the surprise that they're going to get from your brand, especially if they're buying from you the first time or if they're buying from you the second time. So that's number two. Another offer to give to your audience without having to give away any discounts or create that cheap, cheap perception in the market, like 50% off, 70% off. The third one you could do is you could do a percentage goes to charity. But the way you can do that, you can do that for a certain collection or if you have a new product that you're releasing. Because for some brands, they probably do send a percentage of their revenue to charity, but they probably don't do it for the entire collection or for the entire, for the entire thing. But what you could do, you could do it for a limited collection. So say, for example, you release a, a collection of dresses, a collection of dresses that have been made in this particular country or, or the inspiration has come from this particular country. What you can say is that, hey, with this collection, every order, a percentage of the sales are going to go to charity. That alone is going to spur up people to be like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. I want to be a part of this. And they're more likely to buy the products from you because there's a form of conscious capitalism behind it. It's like people, it, 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 it gives you, it gives people that feel good feel. It gives, it makes them feel good, right? To buy from you. So, they, so they're thinking, okay, cool. I'm going to buy from this collection. And then once I buy from this collection, 
a percentage of it is going to help certain people in need. So that's the third offer that you could offer to your audiences without actually saying, without aggressively saying discount, right? And bear in mind, the percentage that you give to charity is, is, is down to your discretion. It's totally up to you as a company. It's totally up to you. You can share that with the customer in your marketing, or you can just basically say it to the customer. Either way, it's totally up to you, and to, as long as it is in line with your with your brand perception and with your brand and marketing strategy. The fourth way, the fourth way, guys, is buy now to enter a giveaway. Buy now to enter a giveaway. So, how does this offer work? You basically say to your customers, hey guys, if you buy this product, you'll be entered into a competition to win a vacation. So, that is going to now make people to not just buy one thing from you, they may buy multiple things from you. Because you could say, with each order, it is equivalent to another ticket or another, another chance to enter the giveaway. So that will encourage people to buy from you. So that in turn will increase the AOV each time within your company. And the thing about this giveaway, right? The thing about this giveaway, this giveaway doesn't have to be anything huge. It could be... It could be something like, something that you can afford as a company. Don't get me wrong, there are some companies that will say, hey, if you buy this product, you'll be entered in a giveaway to buy to, for, to win this car. Or you'll be entered in a giveaway to win a vacation or wh whatever, whatever it is. But what you and your team need to do, you need to think about, okay, what can we give away to a lucky customer that they're going to find very valuable. It doesn't have to be the biggest thing. It, it, it really doesn't. If you're a makeup brand, the giveaway could be um, win, uh, win a chance to get a, a free makeover from, our, from one of our top makeup artists or something like that for free. And that is gonna get people excited to buy from you. Again, it's an offer without get, without actively saying discount, 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 therefore cheapening your brand. Number five, mystery box offer. Mystery box offer. Now, with this offer, what you could do is, you could just say, hey, mystery box, in each of the boxes, is going to be a vast selection of things from our collection. You don't even have to say what's gonna be inside of the mystery box. You can say what you're gonna get, you're gonna get two dresses, you're gonna get an accessory, and you'll probably get some makeup, right? But you're not actually mentioning the brand. You're not actually mentioning specifically what they're going to get. So this alone will spur up that curiosity because for you as a business, you're gonna be able to increase your AOV and it because it encourages the customer to buy from you. And for those of you who decide to do the mystery box offer, this is also a great chance to get rid of some inventory that you have struggled to sell. And you can basically sell it at the price that you want because it's part of a mystery, it's part of a mystery box. Because that's what you're selling. You're selling the mystery, you're selling the curiosity and you are selling the fact that your customer is getting way more for their money. This works very well if you're a brand that your customer, people have bought from you before. This works very well for that. Especially if they know what to get, what to expect from your business. But this also work, works well for new customers. 
for especially for new customers that are they don't want to go for your most expensive thing in your in your product listing but they just want to just get a lot without having to risk too much right guys definitely do the mystery box offer i've seen this i've seen this being done and it works super well in fact all of these offers right here work really well you've just got to make sure that it's in line with your brand and in line with what you're capable to offer to your customer so guys if you're interested in learning more about marketing facebook ads just click the link in the description i've got one-to-one -one sessions i've got other resources that are going to help you get more results in your business but as usual i'll be back with more marketing tips and tricks to help you take care